Lamb. Busby quickly up and forcing the interception. This is Jason Critchley. Mamando after him, but they're not going to catch him. And Jason Critchley scores the first try of this quarter final. Good pressure from Wales. Adrian Lamb caught in possession, looking to put the kick in. The ball eventually finds it. Promising position for the Welsh. Five metres out. Farrell to Yestin Harris to Lee Breers with one outside him, but Breers is going on his own. This is Farrell. Scored his first international try against New Zealand last week, to his great delight. Cunningham and now Chris Tassel. Held! Shout of held from the referee, eight, eight, eight. Dean Busby. Trying to go it aloud and uh, getting much closer to the Papua New Guinea line than he might have expected. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. Three, three. Cunningham, Yestin Harris, Breers, and the long pass, Critchley to West Davis is in. What? Lamb, Jean. And on the burst, it was Norman. It's more promising for Papua New Guinea. Mamando, well picked up by Nawi. Now Wilshire, and Wilshire going for the corner, but the flag is up. He didn't get the ball down. Oh, it just did well to get across. It was great handling from Papua New Guinea. They were pushing it to the right hand side, just risking it a little bit because the Welsh defence had moved up. The referee's going to check it to make sure that. Uh, it was in touch, but I feel that Aitchison just, just did enough here to stop Wiltshire scoring the try. He had his eyes fixed. Aitchison came in at speed, and although the ball was planted, you can see there the corner flag was hit, and also right one foot right in touch. Up. And the decision is. Never mind tired people here. There'll be some tired people in Papua New Guinea at 4:30 in the morning watching this. Stanley G. Outside of his Nawi. He needed someone outside him. And this is Wilshire. Aitchison feels that he was held off the ball, but Wilshire is in. Referee consulting his touch judges and giving the try. Go away. Nice strike. A good try and a great conversion. So, Wales for the second World Cup running. Advance to the semi-final stage. Yestin Harris, the leader on the pitch. The army of supporters delighted. Are just about ready to get things underway. Things on either side. Watson Boas standing on the right. A little juggle. He pops the ball. on, gets the ball away, Boas, and here's Nene McDonald, he's big and he's strong, he's almost there, he's almost there, he's more than that, he's in. Yeah, as he twists out of this tackle, what strength he shows here, McDonald, he's just too big to he handle. Baptiste, he sends the ball on to Boas, he puts a well way to kick in, flying for beautiful try, beautiful try it is for the Cobbles. They go in to score, I think the man was cut. from the Canberra Raiders. Here's Gary Lowe, coming centre field. He finds Wellington Albert. Albert pushes away from one. And Wellington Albert with the size 15 boots goes in to score for the Cools. They're in again to score their fifth try of the match. Joseph wouldn't allow it. Seguiaro out the back. Boas gets the ball on. They go the short side. I thought that might have been four with that pass from Asa Bias. On the short side, oh Martin puts a kick in. Chase is there. They're going again. Justin Olam goes in to score. The kick by Sonia And David Lee goes in for number three. Well, the Kummel skipper becomes the first PNG player to score a hat trick. In World Cup, there he is, number three. What a lovely kick from Seguiaro, that man. Baptiste. Oh, straight through the veteran. Paul Aiton goes in. Ten years after making his PNG debut, the veteran goes in to score. 
ditch effort, cross field kick from Seymour, hoping to find his way out. He does, oh, the down and going in to score after the full time siren. Regan Grace for Wales.